Hey, how's it going? So this is an edited down version of my 60th stream of me drawing my manga viable um, and also hanging out with the chat, which is what I normally do. I had a lot of fun this stream, um, but again, this is my 60th stream. I basically took my two and a half hour stream and condensed it into a one and a half hour video by fast forwarding a bunch of bits where I basically don't talk. Um, this is meant for people who, you know, can't be around because of work or some other reasons during my 4 p.m. Central Time streams, which for me is 6 a.m. Uh, Japan time. But um, so, yeah, I'm uploading it now. So that way people who wake up early in the morning can watch it. And also it's more manageable to watch than the two and a half hour stream. So if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe and also join me on my next stream, which again will be at 4 p.m. Central Time Sunday through Friday. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Let's see, today we are going to be working on my manga. So, yeah. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Say hi in the chat. Say hi in the chat. I think my uh, internet was not working for a second, honestly. But uh, now it's working. So, a little bit of technical difficulties. Today we're going to be drinking, again, once again, the Nestle milk tea. The, the chocolate milk brand Nestle. Um, they make milk tea in Japan, so that's really fun. <laughs> we drinking that this morning. You know, I didn't even realize how early 6 a.m. is for me. It's a it's pretty early time to stream. Anyway, let me know if any volume is too loud or too soft. I'll adjust it accordingly. Well, got my Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> All right. Notification should have been sent by now saying that I am live, meaning this is probably going to be a not so busy day. Because one, I was absent yesterday, so uh, yeah, I wasn't here. I overslept, of course. When I oversleep, typically that means that the next day, not as many people show up, um, which is fine. But it is what it is. Alrighty. Oh, no. But if you are here, lurking, say hi in the chat. Alrighty. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go to the go to the drawing. This is the page we're working on right now. And for those of you who do not know, this is my copy left manga, meaning you're allowed to freely distribute distribute it, make derivatives of it, basically do whatever you want with it. Um, so long as you credit me and make your derivatives copy, uh, copy left too. So that's the, the rules of my license that I give to everybody. Um, it's still copyrighted under me, so um, I can still send cease and desist letters if, let's say, you don't credit me, which is probably the only time I would ever do that, but if you don't include my copy lift information, then that would be uh, a reason for not um, allowing you to continue. Um, but it's a very simple rule, so just credit me, and uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can make fan dubs, or actual dubs, I guess. You can make anime, you can make movies, you can do whatever with the content. I ask it. All right, let's get started. So, this, yeah, I'm actually going to pull up this video and drag it over here. We are in the live stream right now. I'm going to go down to documents and files because I need to go to story writing. Okay, now I don't really need to be here right now because I already drew a layout basically underneath all this. So, I'm just going to switch to that, it's black, and I guess I'll just get started drawing. The cool thing about there not being people here is that I do know that there would be people who miss the stream, who normally watch the stream, who would like to see it anyway, right? So... There you are. Did you rest well? I did rest well. I slept in a lot, actually, yesterday. I slept basically until... right until work was about to start, so... <laughs> but it's good to see you, Armar. Thank you for hopping in. Um, yeah, how am I gonna draw this part? I'll draw them walking. Uh, it's, I'll draw them a bit bigger. But yes, yeah, so yesterday I actually was running late for work and I barely made it on time with no. I might be able to send you something as a birthday gift, but it might um, end up getting to you late. Is that still okay with you? Of course, I appreciate that, Omar. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, it doesn't bother me if it if it ends up being late. No worries. Um, but yeah, I, I ended up making it right on the, the, right on time, basically. So, yeah. But yeah, another thing that I've, um, here's what I do whenever I'm in a, 
since I'm in Japan, whenever I send gifts to my parents and stuff, or my sister and brother-in-law, um, I buy it off the American Amazon, and then I send it to them through that. So I have two Amazon accounts. One's my American Amazon account, and one's my Japanese Amazon account. And I set the address of whoever I want to send a gift to. Um, I put that in the address line. So the difference between the Amazon in America and the Amazon in Japan is you basically need two separate accounts. Um, but if you order it off of the, if, if I order mine off of the American Amazon and send it through that, it'll ship through America, so I don't have to pay shipping fees. So it's all, it's all going through my American account. Um, with that being said, I hope that you don't worry because I hope to make it up for it with the next thing after that if I am able to. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. No, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so Omar sent me an email um, just saying hi, seeing how I was doing uh, yesterday. I saw it during my lunch break and uh, it, it reminded me that I told him in, a, in an earlier stream, um, not during a time stream actually, that if he wants to send me a, a birthday gift, uh, he could do it through, he can do it through, uh, by sending me an email and I'll give him my address, which is exactly what I did. He didn't prompt for it, of course. <laughs> I love, I just love birthday gifts, so I, I always, uh, whenever I think of it, I'm like, oh yeah, Omar, Omar can send me a gift. I told him that he could do that. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's why I, uh, that's why I, uh, sent him my address and went ahead and did that. Um, that being said, if Rehana is listening right now, um, uh, and she asks me for my address so she can send me a birthday gift as well, um, I will gladly send it to her. And anyone else that I trust in the chat, like uh, McKinney or um, Caleb, you know, if they need my birthday, my birthday information, if they need my address, I'll send it to them. So for those who are watching the VODs, um, which there will definitely be a video edit of this, for sure, for sure. Now would I write the receiver's address in English or find some way to get it converted to Japanese if I were to send something to Japan? Um, usually you can send it in English, yeah. The way that, the way that I sent it to you, um, should be, should be good. Um, I think if you're gonna send something, um, either through like, Amazon, which is what I usually do. I, I, I do it through my American Amazon account, sending it to America, so I, I don't have to pay shipping. Um, but if it's something you already have and you want to send to me, then... Um, if you give it to FedEx or USPS, uh, whoever you're sending it through, they should be able to just um, do it based on the English address. That's what my parents do um, whenever they send stuff occasionally. But on my Amazon Got account, it. my my address is um, in English, so it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be entirely in Japanese. But yeah, I have my sister and my brother-in-laws address saved um, in my American account and I have my parents address saved in my American account too so I have multiple addresses to send things to. That's usually how I send gifts in America is just by doing it through Amazon through my American Amazon account. Of course the Japanese Amazon account would just be .co.jp so it's you know it's a different website and a different account that you would have so also I'm excited I've been telling a lot of my co-workers my birthday's coming up um, and I said, hey, if you want to give me something, uh, socks or tea would be good. <laughs> so, I might be getting that. I would just only have to worry about weight with the next thing I plan to send you later on. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Well, you don't have to go all out on me if you don't, if you don't uh, want to. Um, so, if it's something heavy, you know, um, I appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, if, it's, if it's, like, very, very expensive, then... Um, you know, I'd rather, you know, I, 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 I'm okay with like manga and books and, you know, different things like that. I think that would be fine. But if it's over your budget, you know, feel free to not, <laughs> not send that. <laughs> but I do appreciate it. Um, but if you want to surprise me anyway, that's cool too. I'd be okay with that. So I am very thankful for whatever is given to me. Let's see. I need to, need to go to the website right here. Just get a reference of Vasa. You received a hint on that one during your last Zelda stream. <laughs> hmm. Well, let me think. The last Zelda stream, I think you... Yeah, so the the last Zelda stream, you talked about how there was a homeless guy who who you had to... Who, the, who your manager had to kick out. Um, 
but before that, you mentioned a cookbook. So, you know that that to me, I'm I'm kind of like, ooh, maybe I can make a streams based off of these, you know. <laughs> so, oh,、um, but if it's not that, then I will be waiting until after my birthday, just in case someone else wanted me to get it, wanted to get it for me, or if you wanted to get it for me. Um, <laughs> then I would, because、uh, if just 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 in case I spoiled the surprise, but if、uh, if you did get it for me, then I'll be using that、uh, then. But if you didn't get it for me, I'll probably just buy it myself anyway and do streams. So that's why I'm waiting until after my birthday to to, to see if it's on Japanese Amazon. <laughs> so okay, so now I'm gonna send this to the left screen. Ah, the mouse. Then I'm right. But as of now, I currently haven't bought anything for myself because my birthday is coming up. So I haven't bought myself socks for the people who who might buy me socks.、I、haven't bought myself、uh, any more tea in case more people wanted to get me tea. I'm talking about the music reference that I made that we caught onto. That will be the next thing after the first thing that I managed to send you. Okay, music reference. Music. I have to recheck the the video.、Um, speaking of which, that that last、um, last stream that we had,、um, there will be a,、um, a video of it、um, releasing right after this stream. So if you want to watch watch what we did last time,、um, I'll be joining in the chat because it's a there's a live chat there.、Um, so I'll just be chatting in the chat during the video. So that'll be fun.、Um, that being said, I might leave a bit early. Or I might be a, a bit late to that video because I do need to take a shower before I go to work, but I will be there、um, whenever it, it goes live. Actually, I wonder if I can do edit the edit the video now to make it redirect to it. Customization, redirect, perfect. Yes, updated. Okay, so now my video should be redirecting, or my stream should be redirecting to、uh, episode five of the Ocarina of Time vod, basically, which is basically just the stream that we did. Um, yes, not yesterday. The day before yesterday. So,、um, for anyone who has not seen that stream and wants to know where we are for the next stream, which will be tomorrow,、um, I'll be streaming Ocarina of Time again. Then we'll,、uh, then you can watch that video right after this stream,、um, and it should also just be in the, just be in the what's it called? Should be in the, should be in my videos, you know, in the in the playlist.、Um, so if you want to watch that. I don't know a good time to upload these vods、um, of this specific stream, though.、So、if you, I think I think Caleb tends to watch them because he's not usually around during like the time, the hours where I stream、um, in America. He's usually the, like watching streams and stuff when it's really early for him, because、um, he also gets up early for his work. So he watches my videos, my video vods.、Um, well, that's kind of repetitive. My videos on demand. Uh, my video videos on the man is what I just said, but、um, <laughs> he watches the videos of my of my streams, right? That I edit down、um, because it's because he goes to work earlier. I've noticed that when he commented on my、uh, my other vod that I had、um, had uploaded, he basically immediately commented saying "woo," right?、Um, so my assumption on that is. He does watch the vods, but he just doesn't have time to wa、uh, watch the stream, which is perfectly fine. That's kind of why I make the vods to begin with, anyway, for the people who can't、um, watch the stream, whether because it's way too early for them if they live in Japan, or if it's、uh, or if they wake up early and they don't have time at 4 p.m. American time. So,、Ooh. you know, working on this manga, it kind of gets you in like a mood, you know. Like normally, normally whenever I first wake up, I'm like I don't want to do anything. But the moment I start on this is the moment I'm like, okay, I I can、uh, I can focus on this for a bit. It gives me something to focus on. So I really like having this. It kind of one I don't have a lot of time to draw outside of this.、Um, my brother's detriment because he wants me to、uh, make him a make him an avatar for his for his YouTube channel,、um, which he also streams. I don't, I don't know that. I think he just has Will S too. I don't know.、Um, anyway, so my brother streams too, not very often, but usually whenever I'm at work, unfortunately, so I'm not able to join as often as I, as I would like.、Um, you know, actually, I can show him this Python code that, you know, this jump cutter code.、Um, if he ever wants to edit videos really quickly, might be a way to do it for him.、Um, 
I can show Caleb this too, because he also does streams. A lot of my friends stream. <laughs> uh, well, in America, at least. Well, my brother's not really my quote-unquote friend, but, you know, he's, he's closer than that. We're brothers. And I would say the same about you, Omar, since you kept in touch. So I really appreciate you for that. Um, but yes, now I'm very curious about the hint that you gave about the, the other gift you were talking about. So I'm going to be, I'm definitely going to be watching my uh, VOD of my last stream for Zelda. <laughs> Your appreciation sealed the deal for that second gift later on. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Aw, <Aww>, shucks. <laughs> I'm really excited. I, I noticed that the first, um, the first uh, Ocarina of Time VOD that just recap, well not recaps, but it's basically just the edited version. I, I, I'm repeating what I said about the VODs before, but yeah, the edited version of the stream that I had, first stream of Ocarina of Time, um, that has 100 views now. Like, it has over 100 views. I was really surprised. I was like, oh my goodness, that's awesome. 100 views? It has six likes. So a lot of people seems to enjoy it. So, um, there's more people out there who watch videos than, I think, watch streams, so. Um, but that being said, you're missing out if you're missing the stream, so hop on in, you know, viewers out there. <laughs> uh, that was for the VOD, of course. Yeah, these streams are really cool. Um, since I'm just drawing, it's mostly just hanging out streams. So, really fun. Also, I tend to talk a lot, I've noticed. I don't know if that's just a result of me streaming so much, but I definitely continue the conversation a lot more than I used to, I think. Or I jump into a new conversation relatively quickly. I also say things without even realizing it. I noticed this the last time I um, saw... So yesterday, whenever I saw the VOD for Ocarina of Time for Part 4, uh, for the, the Dongo's Cavern one, it, uh, a lot of the things that I said, like, offhand without even reali realizing that I said it was just funny to me. Like, whenever I threw the bomb into um, King Dodongo's mouth, I said, yummy! <laughs> just like I was feeding a, a child or something. Um, which fits because, you know, I'm a teacher, so... But that, that just made me laugh whenever I said that. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember saying that. That was funny. Hmm, here comes the choo-choo train. You know, stuff like that would make... Um, oh, but with the frogs, the singing frogs in that episode. Rehana was right. I should have uh, made it sound like Kermit. Hmm, <laughs> Kermit the frog. I actually have a... Me and, me and Caleb, we used to stream together. And, uh... One of the things he uh, uh, we played was Insomnia, Bay of Pigs, I think it is the name. And that was when I was still in college. And that was a fun game. Um, it was really scary, of course, but uh, that was during the time when horror games were all the rage. And uh, it was like at the cusp of that. And so uh, there was a part whenever uh, Caleb was getting genuinely frustrated at me for, for being obnoxious. <laughs> and I was, I was, of course, it was all fun and games. Literally, but um, I was being obnoxious because uh, I was I was making Kermit noises, I was making Mrs. Piggy noises, and different things like that. And then I started uh, and then he I think he said something along the lines of like, um, man, it's just like piggy, 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 Josh. And I'm like, piggy, piggy, piggy. And I make like a rap out of it. And then uh, there's a there's a there's a clip of that he has on uh, on his channel. I'll I'll take a look at that. <laughs> Um, after I finish Vaza's collar. It was just random and out of nowhere, but, uh, but yeah, it's not my first time making Kermit the Frog jokes, but uh, I think uh, I think I should have definitely done that. I haven't thought of Kermit in so long. There hasn't been a new Muppet movie in a good minute. I think the last one, from what I can remember, is the, the one that had the We're doing a sequel song, you know? But yeah, I really like the Muppets. They're, they're funny. Also, my, my brother really likes them too, so it's kind of a bonding sort of show for me and Will. You also pulled a Ryan Reynolds out of nowhere. Oh yeah? Was that whenever I was voicing as uh, Sheik? Was that when, when I did that? <laughs> I didn't even realize that I was sounding like Ryan Reynolds. I will say, I, I've seen the new uh, Wolverine and Deadpool movie, and that was really good. I actually really enjoyed that. It was, it was kind of funny how... Uh, how Deadpool yep. was basically just roasting uh, Disney in, in the movie that they're producing, <laughs> which is really funny. Uh, it's like, hey, welcome to the MCU. Came in on a low point, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> it's just... 
<laughs> that made me laugh. Yeah, it's just been it's just been not so good. <laughs> I had a friend. So there's there's a scene in the in the movie where uh, Wolverine and Deadpool are fighting in a in a car that was given by Goodpool, I think. And uh, so the good Deadpool, the one that that's just like a hippie, basically. The and the car had a coexist sticker on the back. And uh, I thought it was hilarious because, of course, the, the hippie Deadpool would have a coexist sticker on the back. Um, but my, my friend hates those stickers so much that she she just saw the sticker and immediately got triggered and was like, oh, I hate this. I hate this. this is stupid. Why would they include that? You know, and I'm like, OK, they're making fun of that, though. They're making fun of it. It's a joke, right? Um, so anyway, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think nice with cool. those code with the coexist uh, stickers. Yeah, nice pull, that was it. Uh, my main issue is with the coexist stickers is that some religions dictate that the other religions should should not exist, right? So like I think for example like Judaism and Islam, right? That's such a you know, they're fighting each other right now in, in Palestine and in, in Israel, right? So there's a lot going on there, religious wise. Um, and a lot of the motivation is religious. So it's like, and, and it's the same thing for like with the Crusades with Islam and Christianity, right? So there's a lot of stuff going on there. Um, or Roman Catholicism, if I want to be more specific. But, you know, historically speaking, wars happen because of religion. So I don't think, in my opinion, even as a religious person, I'm not a big fan of those coexist stickers just because I think they're a little naive. Um, if, if they're being completely honest, they're useful. All right, so now that I finished this uh, collar, I'm going to, oops, wrong thing. I'm gonna pull up, there we go. I'm going to pull up do, 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 that hilarious scene where Caleb and I did the, the Miss Piggy rap is what we call it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to YouTube. I'm gonna go to Caleb's channel. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you. By the way, shout out to Caleb. You should definitely subscribe to him if you haven't already. Um, his channel used to be called Calibrated Gamer, but I think he's going more for uh, a different... I don't know if he changed his name. I thought he changed his name. But uh, I'm gonna search Bay of Pigs. No, maybe it was Piggy. Kermit. Okay. Made a lot of Kermit the Frog jokes. I thought he had like a highlight of it somewhere. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find that clip. Day of pigs, calibrated gamer. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. That's the right game, I think, maybe. Insomnia. I'm gonna Insomnia. Okay. The Bay of Pigs? Something of pigs. Hold on, is that even the name of the game? Okay. I don't I guess it's not the name of the game, maybe the DLC. Maybe it's a fan game? Pigs. <laughs> uh, hmm. A machine for pigs, that's what it was called. Okay. Okay, hold on. Calibrated Gamer, um, it was Amnesia, not Insomnia. Amnesia, was it Insomnia? Hold on. Yeah, it's Amnesia. Amnesia, Machine of Pigs, Machine of Pigs? Machine for Pigs, for Pigs, for Pigs. And then it was Caleb, might as well turn on the music without a, <laughs> since I can't, haven't found it yet. Can I quote this? Like, well, that's me talking about it. <laughs> There it is. Okay. So this is the series that it was in. It was three years ago. Man, I'm so skinny. But I know he clipped it somewhere. I know he clipped it. But this was The Dark Descent, which was good. Maybe it was just The Dark Descent. No, because we did The Bay of Pigs. Bay, the Machine for Pigs. I remember that. Maybe it's on his Twitch. Maybe it's Calibrated TV. He has two channels. Okay, let me check this one. There it is. Kermit the Frog, Rapping Superstar. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Eight years ago, oh my gosh, that's so long ago. Okay, here we go. Yeah, um, should I turn the volume up, baby? <laughs> Let's see, a little quiet. I'm gonna, gonna bring it up a bit, like on 20%, I'm gonna bring it to like 40%. All right, anyway, here we go, here we go. This is really funny. I don't know, it seems kind of stupid. Yeah, I think it's kind of stupid too. Hmm. Kind of like Why that am I going down here? Like me going down here. Why am I going down here? Because you're a man. Oh my god. Or am I a man pig? <laughs> Are you a man pig? <laughs> if I'm a man pig, then I'm a very manly man pig. Very uh, manly man pig. Too... Am I a man pig? Man pig! Or am I a man? Am I a man? 
If I'm a man, then I'm a man pig of a man. <laughs> then I'm a very pig of a man, <laughs> yeah. I'm a very pig in my pigs! Okay, sorry. You that was, uh, really making me upset, honestly. That, that was Miss Piggy. Okay. Shut up, Miss Piggy. Shut, shut up, up Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy, shut up. Oh god, I hope there's not any Ms. Piggy, monsters. Miss Piggy, shut up. Oh shut up, god. Ms. Shut up, Miss Piggy. Shut up, Josh! <laughs> <laughs> I really hope there's no monsters in here. Like, Miss Piggy, 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 shut up! Shut up! Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Stop. Piggy, the, Piggy, this way, Piggy, the more... Piggy, 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 let me tell you about a story about a pig. It's a girl I know. She's really fly, but you know, I like flies, so it's fine. Anyway, she's a pig. I'm a frog. It's kind of weird, but I found her on a log, and she said, Hey, yo, my name's Piggy. And I said, Oh, really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> just, just kind of went from there, and I don't know. I usually play songs the banjo. I usually don't rap, so... Uh, <laughs> and I said... What do you think my name is? Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. I think, I think it's Froggy! No, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> you call me stupid? I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> piggy, Piggy, Piggy. <laughs> this guy's back. Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Stop. My name's Kermit. No, it's Kermit. Kermit. Uh, Kermit. Kermit the Frog. Kermit! No, no, just Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> Please never say that piggy, again. Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Shut up. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I don't no, know where I'm supposed to be. Piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> just piggy, piggy. Danger, no entry yeah. to the under pistons when <laughs> So that was really funny. <laughs> Welcome, Rehana. Good to see you. Um, yeah, so oh, I was I'm just late. showing showing the piggy, 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 piggy. piggy. song. We uh, we had that for uh, for a uh, for a uh, stream. It was really funny. Um, Completely impromptu. Also, the volume is loud now. So hold on, let me turn that back down. Ah, out of 20. Here we go. But yes, welcome, Rihanna. <laughs> I'm sure if Caleb watches the VOD, he would appreciate me showing that. Because that's probably one of our most funny, impromptu, uh, you know, um, just random things, right? So it was, it was probably one of the funniest things I think we've, we've done. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, okay. It's very funny. <laughs> I was so skinny back then. That's kind of the, the weight that I wish I could get back to, but I, I want to be a little more muscular because that was whenever I was in college, so I was still like playing tennis every day. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been doing good on my diet. I kind of cheated a little bit. My my uh, coworker asked me if, if I want to go eat some ramen. Um, so I, I ate ramen, but to counteract that, I only had 500 calories for lunch that day. So. Yes. Um, but yeah, how are you doing? How's life? Mm. That's okay. Also, I completely overslept yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. I was running late for work though, so... I I'm think so okay also... Up. That's good. That's good. I'm thinking that I should have a rest day. You know, just like a... Because like, as of right now, I am streaming basically every day except for my Sunday, right? So if I had a day where, like maybe that day specifically the Thursday or your Wednesday right if I had a day where I just didn't stream and I can just sleep in I think that would be good for the days that I'm like really really tired um that would like give me a, a halfway point for because that's my yeah you did Wednesday miss yesterday night, right? but you had a video to air yes so that's good and I think as long as I have a video to air it should be all right I think she's much lower than she normally is here <laughs> so I'm gonna do this Oh, he's fixed. Maybe a little, a little lower. Yeah, take a day to sleep in when you're tired. Rest is good. I think scheduling a day to rest is good. Probably what I'll be doing. Um, but he is. Also, I already mentioned this, but I think Caleb watches my VODs more than my streams. And so that's why I think I'm going to be posting my VODs for my uh, manga, my live streaming stuff. I'm going to be doing that in his morning, which is like midnight my time, so I'm just gonna schedule it for midnight. Um, I did that for the Okey last dokey. live streaming one. Um, that way it gives people who have different times to do things, um, you know, it gives them a kind of a, I don't know, something to look forward to, you know? He may have just been watching the, uh, the live stream itself. Okay, looks like the music 
ended, so I'm gonna put down another one. Um, there's a there's a whole trilogy there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, why That's is that there? That's a good there? strategy. Covers <laughs> all your bases. Right, right. I guess Zelda and Chill would would work here. I mean, we keep we kept listening to it last time. I mean, I enjoyed it. What do you think? Do you want something different? You want the Pokemon one instead, or the uh, 2000s tech nostalgia playlist? <laughs> I might have copyright and stuff. Can my viewers find the perfect crime? Point crow. <laughs> Point crow. <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> what you trying to do? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess Zelda and Chill should work for now. What's Hyrule Cafe? Oh, Hyrule Cafe. So it's also still just Game Champ. Oh, that's cute. Cafe Dayton Hyrule. Oh, look at them. Look at those little Orox. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking a little cup, that's adorable. I like how like Game Chops does like their they have their own like little animations for all their videos, which is really cool. Alright. Haha ha, face with tears of joy. I've noticed when editing these videos that I'm actually much more talkative than I uh, originally thought. <laughs> I tend to talk a lot, which is good for streaming. Um, but if you're editing a video and the entire two and a half hours is you talking. Um, and you're trying to make that a lot shorter and more of a like a speed paint. Uh, it's it's not the best. <laughs> That's okay. I'd rather talk too much than make it boring. Yeah, you're doing better than you think. I said this before already, but during the Ocarina of Time stream, the Dodongo Cavern one, um, I realized that I say things that are like out of pocket, and I don't even like I don't even remember saying them. So in the Dodongo, so whenever the VOD was going on for the Dodongo's Cavern stream, which I do, I do stick around um, on my commute to work and I watch those. Um, so whoever is also live in the chat, they can watch like a live reaction to my own edited videos. Because um, half the time I don't even watch the videos until the, you know I've released them already. So um, because I edit it by just skimming through it rather than by actually listening to what I have to say and slowing down the stuff. I skim through it and try to find the cutscenes and slow those down, but ha, 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 outside ha, of that, tears of joy. <laughs> outside of that, I don't even I don't even watch my videos until I've already released them. So, that being said, um, <laughs> I noticed myself saying some really weird and funny stuff, just like out of pocket. Um, there was a, uh, there was a, uh, so there's there's of course the King Dodongo, right? The the, the boss of the Dongo's Cavern. Um, Whenever I threw a bomb in his mouth, I just said, Mmm, yummy! You know, like I'm feeding a child, right? <laughs> so I didn't even realize I said that. So, and it was the same thing with the, uh, with the I like chests comment that I had. I didn't even realize I said that until after I was editing the video. <laughs> so, it was just funny. And it makes me laugh, because it's just out of nowhere. I didn't notice that one face with tears of joy. <laughs> ha 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 face with tears of joy. Let me see if I can find it, because it was it was something that just made me laugh. Let me go to my videos real quick, because I know exactly where this one is. I don't have to search. And then skim to Dodongo's Cavern boss near the end, I think. Yeah, here it is. Mm, yummy. <laughs> All right. Yummy bomb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause. Um, where are you? The music. So it's over here. Pause this. Once again, I'm gonna make this a little louder so you can hear it properly. Up to forty percent. <laughs> so forty percent, bit of the alcohol, um, when it's warm, but it's uh, which is good for me, who's a featherweight. Oops. But it looks like someone, like someone ended getting ended overzealous eating. with the drinks at the end. Mm, perhaps, <laughs> um, but it also adds to the uh, interesting experience of drink drinking. A oh, lot that is a big dodongo. There you go. Bomb in the mouth. Yummy. <laughs> there it is. Yummy. Ouch. <laughs> it was just out of cuff. It made me laugh when I, when I saw it. <laughs> Here, bomb in the mouth. Yummy. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Anyway. Oh, it's 40%. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Ha 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 ha. Face with tears of joy. Face with tears of joy. I don't remember that either face with tears of joy like I remember we were talking about sake. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about sake then, and I was talking about how, how I prefer a warm, 
Uh, and I was like, wow, that's a big Dodongo. All in the mouth. Yummy. <laughs> just like, just out of nowhere. I don't remember that because I guess it was just, it's so funny though. It's just like out of the blue and it's just there and, you know, I guess that's the kind of content that I, uh, I make kind of a, kind of just silly, not even realizing it. Yummy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I have, um, ADHD tendencies and I just ignore it or forget about it in a way that's kind of more like Tourette's, honestly. But, um, <laughs> it's just a silly, it's just a silly thing that I do. Sometimes I just say things that are hilarious. I don't acknowledge it, completely forget about it the moment I say it. And, uh, yeah. Yummy. He needs a chin. But also, um, with the piggy clip, I was kind of, I was kind of wild, you know? I was kind of, um, I was kind of a menace to Kayla. <laughs> that must have been like a ball of energy that he just couldn't, uh, couldn't handle half the time. Sorry about that. Just skimming through plans. Yeah, no worries, no worries. But, um, also, that looks a little too high now. Mm. Ah. Also, when, um, Haha, <laughs> are you not like a wild ball of energy as much anymore? I guess I still am, but I'm like an older ball of energy who's always tired. <laughs> it's just a different vibe, I guess, no? Ah, I'm getting hungry. I should eat, um, I should go get a, my big mug and make some miso soup. LOL face with tears of joy. Also, I noticed with the, um, yeah, with Caleb, for example, he didn't know that my middle name was Caleb. You know, we had the, we had the same ball name. Of energy that burns out face with tears of joy. <laughs> he didn't know that we had the same middle name or that he has the same first name as my middle name. Um, for like years, I told, I didn't tell him for years and I just assumed he knew. And then one day I was like, well, we're both named Caleb after all. And he was like, no, we're not. What are you talking about? <laughs> and I was like, no, my middle name's Caleb. And he's like, no, because he would have told me by now. And I'm like, well, I guess the topic never came up. It's like, what? <laughs> he was so confused. But, um, but yeah, so my middle name was Caleb, by the way. Uh, and, uh, Caleb, Caleb is, he was originally Will's friend. And, uh, I got to know him more through the Let's Play channel that they started. And I would join him on streams and stuff too. Like I did with the uh, Bay of Pigs. For the horror games mostly, because William, he hates horror games. He can't stand them. But, um, uh, but yeah, so with, uh, uh never gets old. Yeah, with, with Caleb, he just didn't know. He had no clue that my middle name was Caleb, and it's just funny. <laughs> just a funny, funny fact. But honestly, what are the odds? Right? I'm surprised we didn't talk about it before. Because I thought, I thought I had told him before, honestly. Which is why I never brought it up. Um, but I had to show him my, my uh, driver's license to prove to him that my middle name was Caleb. And also my email has Caleb in my middle name, but I didn't have that email back then. Ao, do you remember Caleb's middle name now? I think it's Alan. That's the first thing that popped in my head. Imagine Caleb's middle name is Will Face with tears of joy. <laughs> that would be funny. That'd be hilarious, actually. I could be wrong about his middle name, but I think it's Alan. It could be something weird like Salami. <laughs> Caleb Salami! Yeah, that's his middle name. I don't care if that's actually his middle name. I'm going to call him Caleb Salami from now on. Just randomly calls Caleb Caleb Salami with no context. What are you talking? <laughs> it's like it's like I'm naming my uh, my rival character in Pokemon. It's like, hello, stinky poo poo, <laughs> and he just accepts it. He's like, yes, that's my name. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna defeat you in a Pokemon battle. You'll be defeated by the great and mighty stinky poo poo, like Professor Oak. What's my grandson's name again? All right, stinky poo poo. I, I remember now. That's <laughs> just, that's just the world. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, goodness, I don't know why, but that reminds me of a video I saw on Instagram. Um, there was a, there was a guy, um, just gaslighting someone. Uh, and the way he did it was, he said, "When I snap my fingers, <laughs> when I snap my fingers, you will forget that you were gay." And he snaps, and then he's just like. But I wasn't gay. It's like, yes, exactly. It's like, no, but you can't just snap your fingers and say that I wasn't gay. And he's like, mm -hmm. and he's like staring at the camera the entire time. And he's like, but I'm not, I, I never was gay. Sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> it's like the ultimate gaslighting. It was really funny. Um, I watched it like four times because it was, it was just a really funny bit. Um, circle. It's not a circle, it's an oval. You're an oval. <laughs> okay. I am getting hungry. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful not to sing in the middle of these streams because the audio is gonna be different in the VOD. <laughs> the music audio. Oh cool, this is from Breath of the Wild. Four Tears of the Kingdom. Ah, I did it again. I, I commented on the... Oh no, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ha ha ha. Kale Brad Salami. Salami. <laughs> Lol face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. AOTDS. Josh. Spam the chat till he notices. Josh face with tears of joy. Joshua. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Zelda is trash. I really thought that it work relief face. Wow maybe it did work. Wait, what are we doing? Are you trying to get the third person's <laughs> attention? It did work, Rehana. It did work. Um, LOL the TDS face with tears off. of joy. The TDS was off Omar. Yeah. <laughs> that happens sometimes whenever it... Um, sometimes I have to just like bring it up on my screen because sometimes the TDS just turns off for some reason. And it takes me a second to realize it. So <laughs> she was just... You're just trying to, uh, to get my attention. It happens sometimes, unfortunately. I think that's just Microsoft Hello, Edge. Hello, Miss Piggy. <laughs> it didn't really do that in a... In uh, a uh, uh, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. It didn't really do that in Chrome, but because I had to separate Microsoft Edge and Chrome in order to get the audio right, um, so that way the uh, Microsoft Edge audio would be recorded for the VOD, but the Chrome audio would be recorded, would be not recorded, um, in the same way, so that way I could Shut skip up, over it. Miss Piggy. In my, uh, in my, uh, <laughs> in my, um, VOD. So that way it would just capture my voice and not the music, too. Oh, this is from Majora's Mask. I gotta stop commenting on the music. <laughs> Maybe I should just speed up the music, too, you know? Because I can do that. I can also, like, simultaneously speed up the music. Because I'm singing to it, right? But then whenever it goes into like speed paint mode, it'll just go blur, 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 right? So it's kind of an issue. But I sing with it so much that it's just so fun to do that. I'm really tempted to sing this song actually. Sing. Mm -hmm. Me? Now? <laughs> it adds value when you do. Well, yes, that is true. But once again, I, I add I add audio after the fact, so it would be kind of confusing um, for the people who watch just the VODs and not the not the uh, streams. But you know, I could I could just sing and then just skim over. I, I can do the zoomies on it, I guess. I don't know, but that's just more editing work for me. <laughs> Lol, I guess. Why are there so many songs about rainbows, and what with all of the guy guys? <laughs> And what's on the other side? Oh, and what up? What's with the other gay, gay guys? guy? <laughs> interesting, interesting. When I snap my fingers, <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a line. It's such a, it's like gaslighting to the, to in its peak, right? It's like, when I snap my fingers, you will forget that you were ever gay, but I never was gay. Exactly. It's like. <laughs> Just staring at the camera while the other guy complains. He's just like shaking his head slowly. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, if you say so, you know. Such a funny bit. Kermit humor. When I snap my fingers. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of the meme that the kids are saying nowadays, which is like, um, oh, what's it called? It's uh, English or Spanish, right? Um, when you say that, the next words that you say, either in English or in Spanish, are um, next person who moves is gay, right? So then they just like do like a freeze frame or whatever. So it's it's gotten to the point where when you say English or Spanish, they'll just stay completely still. They won't actually, uh, they, they won't even wait for like whoever, they won't wait for them to say the line, right? Oh man, I'm really hungry. I gotta get some, I gotta get some miso soup. So I'll be right back. I gotta get me some miso soup. I gotta get me some miso soup. Miso soup, miso soup, soup made of miso. Gotta grab my big cup. 
Be so hungry. Oh, be so in my tummy. I'm running low. I only got two two packs left after this. But yeah, if, if you notice in um, if you notice in the Ocarina of Time um, streams, whenever it like zooms past or whatever, um, because I'm not talking or uh, it's not getting picked up by the mic, the music will speed up too. So that's kind of what I'm worried about with uh, these VODs. I don't know how weird it would be for the music to speed up. I think the program that I'm using now, I was using Jump Cutter, but someone had made a kind of a more um, advanced version of it, where Wait. it can also do it. Ah. Switch screen. I wasn't watching when you hit exclamation. Did you hear about that LGBTQ plus mural painted on that one local road somewhere in the USA? That was controversial. Yes, it was. Um, there were people who were, um, what's it called? They were doing those wheelies. Oh, wait, are you just having soup? I'm just having Lol soup. and VM. <laughs> it's soup time. Um, but yeah, so whenever I speed up the, uh, speed up the, what's it called? The, the video, um, it's, the way it works is like whenever I talk, that's whenever it slows down to normal speed. But whenever I'm silent, that's whenever it speeds up to 10 times Supposedly. the speed. Someone on YouTube commented and made a really good point about the mural on the road. What was the what was the point about it? Is it like public property? Was it like commissioned by the by the state? Also, what's the point of a road if you can't drive on it? Like no offense, but like if I were them, I would I would have put my political messaging on something a little more, you know, permanent. <laughs> I don't know if they've heard of potholes, but roads don't really also, it's kind of, it's kind of like not, it's doing the opposite of what they want because they're literally putting... They commented, how are people supposed to drive straight on a gay road? <laughs> Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Stop it, Ron. Oh, that's funny. L Lingaria Liviosa. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> you got me. Uh, that's so funny. Anyway. <laughs> so... The thing is, I've been editing the, uh, the Ocarina of Time videos without without doing the correct um, settings. So it's been combining the two channels, both the the sound from Ocarina of Time itself, as well as the uh, as well as my voice, right? Um, and actually, the stream not the stream the next video that's coming up, which I'll be um, which will come up right after this stream. I can't make this up. I need to look for the video on YouTube, <laughs> which will uh, which will pop up right right after this stream. Uh, I actually forgot to hit the record button, so I had to download it, download the stream from YouTube, so I couldn't separate the channels. I couldn't take the two. Uh... Oh, this is my favorite flavor. It's the onion flavor. I love onions. I'll have to brush my teeth after. But... Um, <laughs> that was actually the most liked comment on the video. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I feel like I don't know. It's like. They put it on a road and they expect people not to drive on it. I would have put it on like a wall or something if I were them, you know? If I wanted to like like make it a mural instead of like a road thing. It's like it's inviting people to step on it or to drive on it, you know? I think there was this one kid who just was on a scooter and he was going through the park or whatever um, that had the mural. Um, and it was caught on camera and he was charged or something. Like there was like money involved there. It's kind of crazy. I think they're kind of like asking for it to be stepped on or, or driven on or ridden on. So I think it's kind of a dumb art thing, you know, to put it on a road. It's, it's, it's weird, it's really weird. Anyway, that's my opinion on that. Um, but it is funny that, that that comment was the most liked comment. Um, but yeah, with, with Ocarina of Time specifically, I think that, uh, yeah, I think the way that I've been editing it it's, it's, it's been skipping past, like, I accidentally combined the two channels whenever I was editing it. Um, so both my voice, which is why I'm wearing these headphones, so you can't hear the music in the mic, because that will also pick up in the mic and, and be used, be, it'll, it'll slow it down in the video whenever, whenever it's heard, um, whenever it's too loud or whatever. So, um, whenever I edit those videos, I've made it to where, I'm gonna try to make it to where um, how I wanted it to be, where it only does it, it only slows down whenever, um, I talk. So starting next stream, which will be tomorrow, 
Um, I'll be I'll be streaming Ocarina of Time tomorrow, so be there or be square. It'll be fun. Um, my third Ocarina of Time stream. I've run out of videos to post, by the way. This is this is gonna be my last video after uh, today, so I need to make I need more content for that. Um, it's pretty cool though that I c I've been able to stream and. Um, I take that back. Now it's the second or third most liked comment on that video. Mm -hmm. Even still, it's really funny. <laughs> but um, yet it's cool. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna see if it'll make the editing quicker or not editing, but if it'll shorten the videos even more. Um, whenever I get into it, or if it'll uh, if it'll do other stuff. Anyway, back to drawing. <laughs> now that I've made my soupy soup, my delicious nutritious miso, low calorie breakfast, and just a bowl of miso soup. You know, despite not getting a lot of sleep these past couple of weeks, um, because of all this editing and streaming, waking up early, um, I think despite that, I have a lot more energy. And I think it, I think my diet, and also I'm not sick, which is surprising. Normally, whenever I don't sleep this much, I get really sick. Um, but I haven't been sick, and I think it's due to my diet. So I've been eating mostly chicken rice and broccoli and cabbage and, you know, a, a, a bunch of like healthy stuff. Um, less than, I would say a maximum of 1600 calories a day, but usually it's less than that. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been doing pretty good. I've been wanting to get under 1500 a day. Um, but that chicken thing is like 756 or something. So I'm just above 800, uh, I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm just above, no, that's, I'm just above 1500 if I just eat those. So, and then if I add like my soup or my tea that I drink in the morning, cool, um, cool. then that's that's an extra hundred or so. So that's roughly sixteen hundred a day. But even still, pretty healthy. Lesson to learn, kids: you can't drive straight on a gay road. Use a straight street instead. <laughs> Do you think it's frustrating having to be mindful of what you're eating like that, or is it not too bad? It's not too bad because unless I'm like eating out, like getting ramen, or um, unless I'm eating out. Typically, and it's usually ramen these days, honestly. Uh, typically, I just eat the same thing anyway. So whenever I was eating unhealthily before, I was literally going to Family Mart, and uh, which is just a convenience store, and just buying yakisoba and karaage and all the all the unhealthy, greasy, fatty foods. And I did I did that every single day. So I for like a year, I ate the exact same food over and over and over again. Um, which again is not too healthy, right? So um, for me, it's not too frustrating to eat because like, I guess it's because I ate public school meals. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I'm very, I'm very habitual. I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm not drawing. Mm. There was a selection. Yeah, sometimes when you select something like this, like a tiny little selection, it'll, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll make it to where you can't draw outside of it. So that's what happened. Left to deselect it. LOL, are public school meals usually good? They're okay. Um, they got worse when Obama was president, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Michelle, Michelle implemented the healthy eating thing where all public school also, lunches kids, tasted like garbage. Also, kids, you can't drive straight on a crooked road, so fire your current elected officials and vote in straight and clean ones. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Also, kids, you can't drive without a license. So make sure you, make sure you, uh, you're not a kid <laughs> at least be a teenager before you drive um yes, good. what do you think of roundabouts by the way really cool song <laughs> you got a roundabout i think roundabouts are a good way of managing local traffic if implemented properly lol it's yeah, always faster to be direct than take the roundabout route and they're relatively safe too i think compared to traffic lights and that's just because if you do get on a collision, it's not a head-on collision. It's a, it's like a side collision, right? I think it's good for people who are used to them, but if you're not used to them, you get really panicky about it. Like, this is a circle, everything's a circle, why isn't this a circle? Ah! Right. But I also think it's, I think it's a pretty efficient way of doing things. Um, the only issue, I think, is that it might be more expensive, because you got to pay for the more road, rather than, um, rather than give her a chest uh, reduction. Surgery real quick. Um, rather than what's it called, paying for just the light, the street light. I think in the short term, it's it more would even expensive. be better with overhead walkways and bike paths. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, 
the first time I ever saw a roundabout was actually in college, whenever, not even in college, like whenever I was in high school, applying for colleges. Um, I went to Ole Miss, which was where my dad graduated from. And, uh, and we went to check out and see different places. And that was the first time I ever saw a roundabout was at Ole Miss. And they had like three in a row, which was kind of annoying, honestly. But it makes sense because like the, the road was like like this. And then there was a roundabout. And then this roundabout went to the highway. And this one came from the highway. And then this one here. I don't know why they had it. I think this one had a statue in the middle or something. And then they had one more here. It was like three in a row. I think this one went to... Mm, I don't know. I think sometimes they just had them just to have them. But I think that one went to like a... Maybe this one merged down to the other highway. Like, so you would go... I don't know. And then it went up, right? So, I don't exactly remember. But they had like two highways you can come from. And then just a random one in the middle. Which was really stupid. If I remember right. The, that one, The middle one probably had a purpose. But I feel like it didn't. <laughs> I don't remember it exactly so i could be wrong but it was it was kind of annoying because they were like they were like very very close to each other they didn't even they weren't like miles apart they were just there like you can see the roundabout from the other roundabout by the way in um skyward sword this is the first and only zelda game that actually has hylian as a language a spoken language and it's through her um it's through zelda's singing of this of this song um which is a part of her um, in, in that game, which I also own on the Switch, um, so we could play that later. Um, she is, uh, on the music stuff. She, she sings that as a part of a ceremony, so. This and Switch music. And I was really excited to hear that they were going to add voice acting to Breath of the Wild. And I knew it was asking for a lot, um, but I really wanted them to have Breath of the Wild be, like, like voice acted completely you know um in in hyrulean rather than in um rather than in just in english or japanese or whatever because that would have been cool it would have been cool to have like like hyrulean speak speech because it's always been implied that it, there was different languages um i guess is there another Hy 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 there's hyrule cafe one is that one true that would be cool that's getting into like lord of the rings sort of dedication though and nintendo already spent like many years and delayed Breath of the Wild anyway, but it would still be cool like DLC to have, right? We're on a date, it's adorable. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one hour left, one hour left. Yes, I will sip my Hyrulean tea hot beverage in the cafe. <laughs> if I were a, um, if I were a very rich man and I had screw you money. Link can entertain us with his ocarina. <laughs> if I had screw you money, I would make a theme park based off of Zelda. And it wouldn't just be a theme park. It would, it would have a dress code. So you would have to dress up in a certain way. Um, you can rent outfits or whatever. But it's basically a LARPing city, where there would be a bunch of different music. Um, would be amazing. You know, outside of, um, and LARPing is live action role playing, right? Uh, where you can go to like cafes and different things that are Zelda themed, and um, there would be like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be. See, the issue with that, though, is with Zelda, there's a bunch of different species, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, we can get to basically live in that world. Yeah, like, that's the kind of stuff that I I would like. I, I don't really want, like, I don't want, I, I don't like Disney World and Disneyland and all, but it's just like, Or just open issue, a Nintendo World amusement park in the USA. That's true. I think her neck is too long. Something was been bothering, bothering me, <laughs> bothering me about her, her body and neck proportion. Um, you want to be more immersed. Yeah, I want to be more immersed. I like I like Disneyland and Disney World, but it's 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 obviously than having themed rides. An attra right. Exactly. It's obviously an attraction, right? Rather than a rather than a world you can go in and experience. I want to be able to go in there. I want there to be an actual the land market. Of Hyrule would be a sector of the Nintendo amusement park. Mhm. Mm I would want there to be like an actual market where actual people are working and um, selling their goods, speaking in Hyrulean language would be cool, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I I wouldn't. That would be like a my sort of ideal amusement park, where it's like it's not really an amusement park. It's just a themed city where everyone's dressed in a certain way, and 
Um, That's really cool. Yeah. The only thing that people would probably disagree with is that the fashion there would be technically quote unquote unnatural because dress coded. But imagine like how many fashion stores would show up specifically to accommodate for that dress code, right? So I think I think that would be pretty cool. That's kind of my thought. If I had if I had screw you money like Walt Disney, right? So make it double uh, up as a shopping center to the general public. Right. See, my my issue a lot of the times is I can't really get immersed with that sort of stuff when people are are basically out there wearing these, you know, modern clothes. Which don't get me wrong, it's fine to have modern clothes. It's just I want to be immersed. I want to be in a place where like princes and princesses are, you know, um, and I want there to be different types of wear too, like summer yeah. wear or. You know, and different... it's not a tight restriction on their outfits. Right. You can be anything from that world. Right, exactly. It would feel less like a zoo and more like a community, you know? And I want to give people the option to live there, too. So if they want to live in that community and just, if they like it, you know, they want to dress that way, they can. And things like Kokiri Forest and stuff like that, um, I would probably make... See, it's, it's hard to do, like, a whole forest like that, but at least the houses... I would probably make them out of, uh, instead of it being like actual wood, which is its own thing, you could do that. The issue with making wooden houses is that they degrade over a short period of time compared to, you know, more as modern As far as that dress code style. idea goes, rather than serve as a regulation, provide incentives for dressing that particular way. Yeah. LOL Hyrule Island. <laughs> but maybe, maybe it would be some sort of like plaster mold that looks like wood and, it's, and it lasts longer of some sort, you know? rather than it just being wood, right? Um, that way we can keep the aesthetic without having to do much except for like touch it up occasionally. Um, the houses would already be prepared and set for people to go in and live there if they want to, um, you know? And this is something I think can only be done in America, by the way. I don't think anyone can do this like... Can live in a cabin in the woods and have your own filler episode face with tears of joy. Right. <laughs> and there would be a great Deku tree, probably. Um, that's run by the local government <laughs> that makes announcements and stuff. I don't know. These are just ideas that I have that I'm like, if I had the money and the licensing to do this, this is what I would absolutely do. Like first, I would plan this sort of thing out. I would have a lot of fun doing it. And yeah, I would definitely provide incentives to wear that sort of dress. Um, I do think that rather than being like a law, you must wear it this way. Um, the stores would only sell that type of clothes, for one, I think. Um, two, like, you know, you can still have modern clothes. LOL, what if at your resident you can style. earn money by helping out in the community face with tears of joy, basically, basically. quests. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool, right? Hmm. Call it Nintendo it. World City. It'd be basically what Epcot was supposed to be, but with Nintendo. And I love the fantasy setting. The issue is like, what about the Gorons? What about the Zoros and stuff, right? It's like, I can't have people be wearing fake stuff 24-7. The Borough of Hyrule. <laughs> so in that, those cases, I think either having animatronics or like statues would probably be fine. The Borough of Hyrule, that's cool. <laughs> and of course, TVs and stuff can, you know, obviously still exist, right? You still have computers, you can still stream, still have internet. I just like the idea of it all being themed, you know? So like, Maybe having, um, instead of instead of having metal minimalist cool. style um, interior design, you you focus more on the aesthetic of the time or the aesthetic of the game. So, um, if you want a table, why not have like a log looking table rather than a, you know, the the only issue with that is it would kind of limit freedom. That's kind of my only contention with the idea. But you know, I think people would only want to live there. The village of wanted because of yeah the village of audit <laughs> on it if you did it based on earthbound it would be audit yeah but i think the only reason that people would want to live there in the first place is because of the style of it right but that would be like an hoa taken to the extreme and we hate hoas so that's why i think the best course of action the for me domain yeah would be to uh, to set it all up and then have have it yeah, rented out so I would, fans dream. I would be the landowner um I would make it clear that this is supposed to be fantasy for like immersion purposes. Um, you know, do your best to stay within the theme, both interior design wise and exterior design wise. Um, but I'll leave it to your own discretion. You don't have to if you don't want to, but um, 
Or maybe have like a catalog of people's the homes of that, City. that we enjoy so we can like rank them. Like there's the homeowners association in um, Animal Crossing that does that. They inspect your house and they give you a ranking. So, so instead of it being like, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to change this, you have to change that. They just give you a ranking. Um, and they they have like, they have houses and stuff. Lit Brooklyn. Um, little Brooklyn. <laughs> uh, so anyway. If I could start a city, that's that's kind of what it would be. Um, it'd be like a fantasy city. Um, there would be a castle, castle town. Um, you can go to a Majora's Mask, like if I wanted to expand on it. At the other side of the Lost Woods, there would be uh, Termina, um, based on Majora's Mask, which we'll learn more about later. But, ooh, Cass's theme, I love Cass's theme. Ooh, this is like a jazzy version. I like it. But yeah, that's kind of my my dream. If I had like PewDiePie money, that's what I would do with it. My ambitions. The only issue is that it would cost a lot of money. Like, that's not like a million dollars worth. That's like billions or even trillions of dollars worth. Um, I guess I could start off with like one little area. Like first make a Kokiri Forest little area. Um, that would be similar to like in Switzerland they have a- But what uh, if there's a game that's like that? You live in a Hyrule-like world, but players get the option to do anything. Yeah. Like you could be a market shop owner in the land and that's all you do. In the yeah. Mushroom Kingdom or Little Brooklyn, you can wear regular clothes. Just be yeah. sure to carry power tools or other contractor's tools on your person. You can explore, <laughs> yeah. you can have a job, you can go on quests. Yeah, that would be fun. And it's all like, it's like government based, you know, government based quests and different things. Um, some are just fun things to do and you can get points. Um, and those points can be, uh, if they're like helpful or whatever, like have you done some helpful things for the community, like help build a house or introduce yourself to a neighbor or whatever, um, then uh, those points could probably get traded in for some merchandise or some clothes. Honestly, if I had that kind of money to where I can, you know, have people move in, I would give them clothes. Like I would give them clothes that are in theme of what I'm trying to do. So like if you aren't online, your shop isn't open and other players can't buy from you unless you hire someone else face with tears of joy. Right. Arms looking bulky. You will have ID badges with different statuses and what sector you live in or rather hail from. Very, very, like you see the, the ideas that you can get from this are pretty much endless, you know. It's very creative. This is like an artist's sort of like and fantasy lover's dream. But at the same time, like you need to get like an architect, like someone who could like legitimately build That's this stuff. That's pretty cool. You know, um, not an architect. An architect is the one who designs it. You need a you need a engineer. You need engineers to like be able to actually build it and make it feasible. So I'm just the dream guy. I'm a guy who thinks of these things. I'm not much of a practicality. You know, um, you also need like a scholar on like moral legal stuff. So like, what would be right to do? Can you force people to wear clothes? You know, what would be the best way to incentivize people to wear clothes um incentivize people to go on quests so as an artist yeah we can make a video game right based off of this and you know it'd be a cool little thing it'd be very similar to maybe like there's a vr game called uh vr chat um where you can you can make stuff like that um and interact with people and different things the only issue with vr chat is that all of the people who are in vr chat are literally just you know anything they want to be so it's, it's freedom and it's great and all but like if you want a themed place okay. where you are omar stevenson age 38 you hail from little brooklyn <laughs> yeah oh you hail from yeah that's cool <laughs> so it has like handyman handyman but i feel like this is a this is an idea that can be started by one person but it would need a whole community of people to actually come to be you know and then you can have tourists, of course, because of course you would. That's that's just a really cool sort of vibe, right? So people would be interested in it and want to just visit it and take pictures of themselves in it. There would be phone cases that example. are like that look like wood True. or whatever. Um, you can you can get Chateau Romani at the local bar, right? It'd be cool. Yeah. Um, there's restaurants with Zelda themed foods and stuff. That that'd be the dream. This arm is also swole, making Hana too. Dick with her arms. Yeah, imagine like an actual cafe with like actual workers dressed up like Zelda characters, playing music like this in the background, you drinking Zelda themed like coffee drinks or food, 
Um, you can drink, you can buy like potions or whatever that are just flavored juices or whatever. I think that'd be fun. Little Brooklyn would have the best of NYC eats from pizza and pasta to the best sandwiches. Right? That's so cool. You, it would also have a lot of mushroom based things because Mario and mushrooms go hand in hand. Um, Even for so. the chefs that's so cool getting to make Zelda themed dishes. Mm -hmm. Making potions for people to drink face with tears of joy. <laughs> like if you had a Mario based one, not only would you have like tennis courts and stuff too, but you would have like Mario Kart, right? That would, those would be obvious attractions. <laughs> yes, creamy mushroom pasta. Oh, I love me some creamy mushroom pasta. Why is Yummy. her arm so swollen? Bomb. Why? Why is she like not skipping on like workout days? You know? How does her entire show look at her? Uh, look at her. What's it called character design? Okay, so she has a skirt, not a dress. Even though I've been drawing a dress. Have I been drawing a dress? Hold on. So here... Oh, not that one. This one. Here's her character design. We we drew a skirt on her with leggings and boots. But in the in the manga we've been drawing, we've kind of just been... I don't think mushroom we even have pasta, one that's but lower. The mushrooms are green eyes. Repair and utilities for the Nintendo World theme park will have worker residents dispatched from Little Brooklyn. Farming crop operations would mostly we come from the Hyrule them. sector. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, here I drew a dress, right? It's not really a skirt. It goes way past her knees. And here it seems pretty long too, but maybe not. Anyway. She's wearing a her... shirt and a skirt yet. I'm gonna be drawing her, um, her walk at night. So, I'm gonna make it about the same as her, as her design, which is around here. Village of One, it would mainly be a residential zone with some shops and stores. It's such a good idea. I, I, I feel like that. Right, like it would be, it would be themed. Um, obviously, on it would be more like America, right? So it would be much more like, I would say like maybe sixties esque America, um, outside of also, the racism. Another regular clothes area, and so they can like visit each other from other other zones and different things. It'd be a cool, cool environment to be in. You got green and red um, mushrooms. I don't know if they'd be painted or what, but. Because normally those aren't, aren't the type of mushrooms you would want to eat, right? Like in real life. Um, there are actual green and red mushrooms, but they're like psychedelic mushrooms or they're poisonous mushrooms. So you would have to paint like edible mushrooms, of course, with edible or with food coloring or something. But yeah, there can be mushrooms. Um, you can have mushroom hats that look like Toad's hats, right? <laughs> Which would be funny. Um, you can have like Mario caps and different things like that, but with like all the letters of the alphabet for for everyone to wear overalls and then there's the custom robo shop green mushrooms, but it's cake mm. You can do like huge expansions just have different cities either like different cities throughout like America or the world preferably But I don't I don't think the world has as much freedom in like zoning and districting as America does but um... located in an underground facility under foresight no Reese's Pieces today. Oh no, I have I have my Reese's Pieces cup. I um I drink uh, milk tea out of it. So <laughs> I was drinking no Reese's um, cup. I actually finished my milk tea. I might want to get another tea, but I'm still a bit tired. But um, ooh, what was I thinking? Oh bother. Anyway, um, can I get more tea? Maybe, maybe. But yeah, I was drinking miso out of my big cup, my big blue cup. It's bigger. And I can have more soup in there than my Reese's cup, which would have more concentration of tea. A fire flower, but it's cake. Yeah. <laughs> You're really big on the cake stuff, huh? Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so like, you know, obviously there would be like cake shops and bakeries and different things like that. And they would shape their their products to be, you know, different. Um, even like Wendy's or Starbucks or McDonald's or whatever. Um, if they happen to be there, it would be required that like big corporations accommodate for the theme of the of the um, anything can be cake city. these days. Hyper realistic. Right. No, I've seen I've seen some uh, sweets artists. They can do some really cool stuff. Um, but yeah, like if it was like McDonald's, for example, um, they would need their building to look. You know, they they would Let's have to not present their about building in the same way. That one would put <laughs> Disney's Space Mountain to shame. That's true. That's true. Um, they would need. They would need to put a. Uh, let me draw legs. They would need to put. Um, make sure the building is is 
in the theme of wherever they are. Also, um, they would need to use local ingredients for whatever they're doing, I guess. Or themed ingredients? I don't know. Maybe not, but I, I do prefer local healthy ingredients um, over... It might be more expensive, but here in Japan, at least, they're not more expensive if they're local. They're actually around the same price or cheaper. Winter Wonderland, Ski Resort, Hot Springs, and Fat Bike Snow Races. Oh yeah, definitely definitely uh, Hot Springs, that would be good. And Snow Bike Races, yeah. Or Husky Races too, if you wanted to do like like those in, Al in Alaska, right? How they have those races. Bob Southern Races. There's a lot you can do in ice-themed places. You can do like curling too. It'd be very cute. I don't know what you'd do for Metroid or Kirby. I feel like those would be a bit... Because like Kirby's kind of... Have produced farms in the park. Kirby doesn't really have humanoid characters outside of a couple in like, for example, the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, produce farms, that'd be good. Um, outside of the anime and outside of like the 64 game, they don't really have um, humanoid characters. So I don't know how the theme of Kirby's world would be, but... Um... Ah, yes, the Dreamland Sector. <laughs> Might be a shopping district or... Because uh... Kirby is very marketable. You can buy lots of cute things, and Meta Knight's really cool. Maybe have like a Meta Knight ride or something. It would be for children, more so, rather than... Same with Yoshi, probably. That Oh, maybe we can have like an elementary school or something. Like that's where the kids would go learn, be like a learning environment. Kirby's Dreamland Super Mall. Ooh, a Super Mall. That's a good idea. Poyo. Poyo! <laughs> So I'm going to be streaming for another 30 minutes, and um, then there's going to be a premiere of the last episode of um, Ocarina of Time that I've completed. Um, so I'm going to stream more Ocarina of Time tomorrow, and I won't have another video to upload tomorrow, but um, but I will be streaming for quite a long time tomorrow, probably. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really liking these ideas, honestly. I probably personally put the most effort in the Zelda-themed one, though, because I love Zelda. <laughs> but people who are passionate about other things like Mario, there's a lot of Mario fans, or um, you know F Zero, or Metroid, um, all that other stuff. Maybe Metroid could be like a, you know, like a factory-based sort of thing. I don't know. The F Zero track roller coasters. Are you yes. drawing high boots on Hannah? I am. She kind of has high boots, doesn't she? Wrong one. Keep switching the wrong one. I mean, they're not like high boots. They're like mid boots. Maybe I should lower them, huh? Yeah, they go down here. Oh, I guess I'll lower them. Yeah, it seemed high to me. Metroid laser tag training course. Ooh, yes. Yeah, Metroid could do like arcade based stuff. That would be, that would be good. Metroid laser tag sounds so fun. Also, I think like night training in Zelda would be cool or Fire Emblem based stuff, right? So my brother's favorite Zel Zelda, my brother's favorite Nintendo series is Fire Emblem. And he would really like something like night training or like archery or something. You know, there is a ninja village in Japan. Thinking about it, they did like they they did have like a theme, and they kept to it. But I wonder if it's if they can do something similar with like Nintendo stuff. Then again, it is a little touristy. I'm not a big fan of the touristy-ish nature of it, where like so many so many people who are just obviously not from there are kind of not integrating to wherever they are right i'm okay with like tourism and i'm okay with like i'm okay with you know Super tourism Smash brothers dojo and fighter academy i'm okay with immigration um i just i i want integration with with these things right so i want them to at least look the part if they're going to be visiting these sort of areas so that's kind of my my thought process super smash bros dojo and fighter academy that'd be cool <laughs> all right i think that's a better height for her boots Next is Vasa. That's so cool. You can learn some martial arts moves based on the character's face with tears of joy. Yeah. If you had like a Donkey Kong Island, that'd be interesting. Maybe it'd just be a zoo. I don't know. Banana. There's a lot of Donkey Kong fans. I just don't know. I don't know how you would make that into a something other than sort of like theme parks. Because you're not going to get everyone to wear a monkey suit, right? <laughs> I mean, why not, right? I don't know. The monkeys walking around. Well, technically, Donkey Kong is an ape, so not a real monkey. <laughs> he doesn't have a tail. Diddy is a monkey.
Smash Brothers Dojo face with tears of joy. Donkey Kong Island will be hard to pull off. I'm thinking more Jungle Gym with that one. Ooh, Jungle Gym. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, but there's like endless amounts of ideas and different things you can make for a community of Nintendo lovers, basically. And that's kind of that's kind of the the vibe sort of thing that I wanna I wanna make if I had millions of dollars, <laughs> billions, and billions of money. If I were mayor, if I were president for a day, that's what I would do. I don't think presidents have that power, but yeah, we will make Zelda. <laughs> Here's my platform. We'll make Zelda an actual city. And cuisine based on bananas. And we'll give Donkey yeah, just Kong Country. to start country something like that would take a lot. A real thing. Yeah, it would take a while, and and a lot of time, a lot of money, um, a lot of licensing issues that would have to be figured out. And coconuts, peanuts, pineapples, and you know the rest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It'd take a lot even before you got anything back from such a project. Yeah, probably the closest thing to it right now is the. Um, there's a medieval sort of like show. I don't know if you ever seen like been to Dollywood where the Dixie Stampede is, but um, in the Dixie Stampede, basically there it's it's a rodeo show. So you you get to eat food and watch a rodeo or whatever. They have a medieval version of that in Florida. Um, that's I forgot the name of it, but um, it's called Medieval Times or something. But it's a really fun fun place. And they do jousting tournaments um, while you eat. So that's like the closest thing I can think. And it's not really a city, it's, What's it's more of a spectacle. What's that line flowing from Vasa? Is that to keep track of his coat? The line flowing from Vasa? This one? That That's a part of his coat, yeah. This one? Yeah, that will also be like, that'll go down and become his coat, right? So, I'm just drawing his shoulders first. I'm thinking Vasa will be behind. Uh, I was wondering on. why he's out of the panel face with tears of joy. Yeah, he's just gonna be down here. Um, and then we're going to show, like, the message right here in the panel. Ugh. Also, Hana has no arms. <laughs> A-H-H, I understand. Also, I think... This has been a fun stream. We had a lot of talks about a lot of different things. Okay, that's... He's massive. <laughs> like, I'm going to I'm gonna shrink him down a bit, actually. We had a cool... A lot of cool talks. We made a lot of jokes. We uh, talked about Caleb. Which, if you're watching this, hi, Caleb. Um, we talked about my dream city that I would build. Because all the cities these days look the same, pretty much. Even Tokyo looks, I mean, outside of, like, it being cleaner than most cities. It looks, it looks like a, a yeah, modern city. Yeah, it was a city, dream. Right? I want something that looks like a retro, sort of, like, medieval or, you know, have, have a theme to a city rather than it just being, oh, everything is square and bricky and blocky and, you know, high rises everywhere, right? Which is fine, you know, they're nice to have, but it's like, I want more diversity in city structure, I guess. But that's kind of, kind of my opinion. I want a theme. You should take the time to visit the Super Nintendo World theme park in Osaka if you haven't visited yet. Yeah, it's I so haven't great. visited Omar yet. Omar has been in the stream. Really yes. keeps the chat more consistent. Absolutely. I do appreciate Omar so much. He's been very cool. Also, I sent him my address, so Rehana. If you want to give me something for my birthday, let me know and I'll send you my address. And you can just send it through Amazon or whatever. Um, but yeah, I um, I emailed Omar my address in Japan. So, yep, yep, yep. Fun stuff. Ooh. I think I'm getting tired. <laughs> but I have 15 minutes left. <laughs> okay. I gotta keep trucking. Keep on trucking. I did pretty good. I drew most of Hana. Um, some of us, huh? Yeah, this page is almost done. Yep, yep, yep. And it's only been two streams, so... Ah, I don't wanna... I don't wanna draw anymore. I'm at the point. I'm at the point of... Skareta, you know? Skareta means, like, tired in Japanese. It's early. I need to take a shower anyway. But... Uh, I need to keep going, baby. I don't know. I don't know. You can take a five minutes break. Uh-oh. They are planning on opening another Super Nintendo World in Orlando sometime in 2025. Ooh. Then also, didn't they open one in California? Left. Yeah, save it. I'll take a break. Break time. Yes, the Hollywood location opened in 2023. Whew. Uh, yeah, I saw... So my friend who lives in California, he, he posted pictures of it. So I was like, oh, I didn't know that they had one in California. Yep. My arm is... I don't know. Maybe I'm just like... I slept on the couch 
as usual. Um, but I did clean up my room quite a bit. Um, I had a bunch of trash everywhere. <laughs> but today I, I have friends coming over. I have uh, my friend Ben and my friend Zach and my friend Mitch and my friend Sean. They're all going to come over to my place and we're going to play some video games. It'll be fun. Um, I don't think we're going to stream it. That is a good idea, though, if I ever have friends over to stream it. Um, but I don't know how they feel about streaming. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're probably going to play some oh, Nintendo 64 fun. games like uh, Mario Party. Um, I think they're coming over like as like a pseudo birthday, pseudo, like a pseudo birthday party, like a small little get together. Um, and then we're going to have an actual one again, I think the week after. So, but yeah, um, it's OK. You can just enjoy being goofy with your friends. <laughs> um, we also play Mario Tennis quite a lot. Mario Tennis on the 64 is like really nice. Um, and the Game Boy Color version was uh, an RPG mixed with the tennis mechanic. So it was really cool. Um, they don't really do that anymore. Even with even with the 3DS version of the game, they said, we're bringing it back. But they really didn't. They just kind of made it like more more Mario, Mario-y. So instead of it being like your own original character that's going through a school and, and you know going up the ladder from junior varsity to varsity and then and then going in a in a tournament and then at the end of the tournament you win and so that gives you the opportunity to play against Mario. Um, that's that's the whole story of the Mario tennis line Game Boy Color, by the way. Instead of that, they made it to where it's like, oh, Mario, he's going around his own world and he's just playing these random characters that pop up. And also there's no level progression, really. And also it's it's Mario. Yeah, you like Mario, don't you? It's like, OK, it's not what I wanted, but thanks, I guess. You know, it's like it's like you're getting a it's like you're craving a meal. You're craving McDonald's, but instead you get like you get like a salad. Oh, they took out a lot of the charm. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, you know, peak Nintendo um, Mario Tennis was probably on the GameCube um, and the Game Boy Advance because that was the last time, and they had pretty good graphics. That was the last time they really had the charm in Mario Tennis. They had they had a cutscene opening, and it was really nice. It was really funny. Um, had Wario and Waluigi and Bowser, and they were all playing games. Really fun. Mario Tennis on the 64 was the last time Donkey Kong Jr. and the first time and only time that Donkey Kong Jr. had a 3D model. It was the last time that Donkey Kong Jr. was playable outside of, I think, the phone version of Mario Kart, um, technically. But yeah, that's that was more of a callback to when he was playable in the SNES game, so I don't really count that. Um, but yeah, so, so Mario Tennis, it was the first time that Donkey Kong Jr. had a 3D model. It was the last time you could play as him. They cut him out in pretty much every game after that. Um, he didn't appear for another like 20 or so years whenever the, the phone uh, Mario Kart game came out. And then, yeah, for the game itself, it was just tennis. It was just tennis with Mario characters, right? They didn't have any like extra stuff. Um, yeah, so the theory is that the current Donkey Kong is Donkey Kong Jr., right? Yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. grew up. So, oops, I paused it with my headphones. But, um, yeah, so the the th current theory is that the old Donkey Kong is now Cranky Kong, and Donkey Kong Jr. became what it, who is now Donkey Kong. Um, so, yeah, which I'm okay with, I guess. But that was the last time you can play as Donkey Kong Jr. as that character. So, um, it was also the first time Waluigi was introduced. Mario Tennis is Waluigi's first game. Um, and he was made specifically for Mario Tennis to give Wario a character to play doubles with. So, you know, it was a really, it was a really interesting thing. Um, also, if you had the Game Boy Color and you also had the Link cable to go with it's the... It's funny uh, that means they keep naming their kids Donkey Kong JR to continue the succession face with <laughs> tears of joy. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, if you link, if you link the Donkey game... Donkey Kong the third. The third. Uh... <laughs> If you link uh, Mario Tennis with your Game Boy Color version, which you can do through a link cable, you get four unlockable characters, which are just the characters that you play as in the RPG version of the game. And so it's a really cool thing. And you can also level up your characters in the 64 version of the game, which is also really cool. Um, they get experience points when you connect it back to the Game Boy Color. So, so 
I guess my relatives became die-hard gamers and I became more involved with things IRL. And people have been saying the exact opposite would happen. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Omar used to play a lot of video games whenever he was younger. Um, and uh, we, we used to play outside, uh, me and my brother. Well, not my brother so much. He, he became more of a gamer in his teenage years. But me and my sister, at least, would play outside a ton. Um, and, uh, you know, I played with my neighbors That's and everything. That's interesting, lol. Until, until about, like, the end of high school is whenever I started getting more into gaming. So, but yeah, for me, it's all just retro gaming. I just love the retro stuff. I'm not a big, you know, I'm not a big modern gamer outside of the Switch. Oh no, my chair is falling. Um, let me put on some more music because we're just chatting now. Yeah, I don't so. have too much time for video games these days. Things got too IRL for me. Yeah, that kind of happens. Uh, whenever people grow up, they have a lot more responsibilities. Um, they have a job, you know, and uh, they can't really focus on video games all too much. Um, for me, it's like a hobby. It's not like I'm a, a gamer gamer, but it's like, I don't know. I, I know a lot of tr trivia about these old systems and consoles and stuff, specifically the Nintendo 64, because I don't know. I just love that system. It, it's it's very nostalgic to me. Um, it's been in you know my household for as long as I can remember. I can't remember not. Um, having a Nintendo 64, so it's like, it's pretty cool. Um, and I have all of our family games that we had when we were kids too. I brought it from America to Japan. The Zelda 64 is, is you know, that the Ocarina of Time that, that I have was from whenever Omar was playing it, it's the same copy uh, whenever he used to live with us. So it's really cool. Um, same with Mario Tennis. Um, I don't know where Smash Bros went, the English version of it. How much so, time do you have left? Oh yeah, it's uh, I got four minutes. <laughs> yeah, um, I've been streaming for about two hours and twenty-five minutes. Um, I think actually, oh, to live. To live. <laughs> Face with tears of joy, J.K. I would assume at least, at least sixty more years, give or take, Lord willing. Um, but that being said, my uh, premiere is actually about to start for. My last gamer time was over 15 years ago. Wow. So the last, uh, that's a long time ago. Um, yeah, but Will and I still play games. Will plays more modern games and he loves tabletop games like D&D &D and um, Magic the Gathering and stuff like that. Um, though mom and dad don't like the, the names of those and the, the you know, the, the depictions of demons and, and devils and stuff inside of them. Um, they've let their opinions be known, but he still plays them. Um, and there's a there's a stream there's a stream um a live not a live stream but not a stream a vod so my vod from last live stream of ocarina of time is going to go up um it's premiering right now probably let me just show you where that's at um oops, wrong one there we go okay so if we go to my channel yeah it's premiering yeah go to my channel um i'm live here of course but here's episode five it's premiere and it's two minutes and 30 seconds exactly until until it actually premieres, which is kind of funny. It's almost nearly identical to my uh, <laughs> nearly identical to my to my popcorn uh, yellow striped smile popcorn yellow time. striped smile popcorn yellow striped smile popcorn yellow striped smile. <laughs> I hope that I don't get blamed for your brother's choice of games. That is out of my control. I don't think Will Will's decision on like what games he plays has hardly anything to do with um, what you were playing back in the day. Because you were playing from what I remember was Ocarina of Time. That's And Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I remember that. Um, that's that's all I remember, really. Um, I think with like D&D &D and Magic the Gathering, he kind of learned about that on his own. So, you know, um, it's just what he enjoys. So, and I think he learned about it in the Navy, so. I don't I don't think he's I don't I don't think he really influenced them on that. But yeah. That's it's crazy how like in sync that is. <laughs> um anyway. I'm gonna I guess I'll go ahead and call it here for the stream and you guys can hop on to the live and I'll I'll be chatting in the chat of the um Yes. Yeah. So I don't was think it was my influence yeah. since that influence came from the console. Right, so um 
But yeah, for me, it's like, I just love retro games, and that's due to... I think that was kind of influenced by you, but that's okay. I don't think that's a bad thing to be influenced okay, by retro yeah, games. But, yep, I'm probably going to take a shower for the first, like, 10 minutes of the stream, but I might I might chat for a bit in it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you see in a bit. All right. Thanks for hopping in. Yeah, I'll see you guys uh, see you guys soon in the chat of my uh, my live stream. All right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> see ya.